this is Kelly with Use the Scrapbooking and today we're going to be using a kit from the Memory Nest. Um, they sent me a collection from Crate Paper called The Pier and um, it has a lot of great uh, summer type colors in it and since it's called The Pier I went ahead and I was looking for pictures that I have of a pier I visited this summer actually too. So let's see what we can create. Okay, so I thought we'd go through the papers that we have. Again, these are from Crate Paper. This is their collection called The Pier. Um, I like this red and white chevron and see how it's kind of distressed around the edges. And the back side are some flowers there. Probably won't use those for our pier pictures, but I think this red one has a good chance of making it in there. And then this giant chevron. And then this is a craft-based paper and these are some green circles which is neat. This uh, is definitely a fun summer pattern, that rainbow chevron, and then there's like an art deco uh, layering technique there. And of course hexagons are really hot, and we have all those colors, which might be fun to cut out. I don't know if it's too much to do a whole page. And then the, this looks like a distressed painting, or, you know, like wood or whatever. So we have two of those. So that would be nice, because that might be a good base. Um, we have a few, I had used a couple of these papers on another layout, so I have a couple of um, scraps, so we might incorporate those somehow. And then I also have, I was sent the ephemera pack for uh, this collection, and it has some really great banners. These are pre-sewn together. Um, so that they've done the hard work for me there. Um, there's lots of tags and a couple of die cuts and these neat frames. Uh, so I can use those for something. And I like the red. Red's one of my favorite colors, so I can definitely see using those. Um, and this is cute. Now my pictures are actually not at a pool, but I can save this for another layout, I think. So a lot of tags and things here. Uh, I think these would work as journaling blocks, depending on how we go. The red is cute. Bees for blue. Those might work with my pictures. Um, and then there's some other uh, tickets and uh, things like that. There's even some sequins. Let's see the sweetest. So a lot of little things in here that we can use. Uh, to build up an accent or some layering, um, maybe some clustering will do there. So we have those great papers from Crate Paper, the Pure Collection, and there's a lot of bold patterns in it, so I was looking for some help on kind of focusing on those patterns, being able to use them without them overpowering the pictures. And I came upon this sketch from Page Maps and Becky Fleck. This is from the September 2013 Page Maps. I like these blocks down here because they're three blocks but it's basically the same, it's a continuing pattern. And I think that that'll work well with a really bold pattern like this. It'll help break it up a little bit but we'll still be able to use it and see all those vibrant colors. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that sketch and then I've also pulled out some pictures from a Disney trip and I'm going to this particular sketch calls for two vertical photos and I'm going to switch that because I have one vertical and then two horizontal so I'm going to do one horizontal and then cut these down to two vertical so it'll take up the same amount of space and we'll be able to have these blocks of color down here at the bottom so let's get started I'm going to use this uh, painted wood background um, for the base of our layout there's a big pattern on the side here, which I think can be used for a lot of different things. Maybe a card or um, cutting them out and using them on another page. So I'm going to cut out the middle. And I'm going to do that instead of starting my cut up at the top. I'm going to go down to about one inch and put my blade there. It doesn't have to be exact. And push it down and then I'm going to cut just down to about 11. I'm going to do that. I'm going to flip it and do it on all four sides. This way I'll get the benefit of having the base on the outside, but I won't be wasting all this paper. It's hard for me to do when it's a pattern, especially a pattern like this. The hexagons can be used for so many different things. So I'll pop that out. 
and this is going to be our background. And then I'm going to cut it. I'm going to trim off a little bit of this paper. It is, um, it's not quite white. I think this was from Stamping Up and it has some flex in it, which I think is a nice way to go from the distressed paint look to this really bright color. I think it's a, it's a kind of a step in between. It's not too white, uh, but it's wide enough that it's a nice neutral against this bright color. And for fun, I'm going to round the edges. Okay, so we have the base. This picture is going to go here. This will be my vertical. And I'm going to cut these two horizontal so they take up the same six inch uh, space. There's a lot of empty space, so I think that's okay. okay. And I want that continuing pattern across the paper. And of course, this pattern is 12 by 12. So I need to decide if I want to use the blues, the little bit of red peeking out at the bottom, or do I want to use the yellows? where I want it. I'm still playing with it. I wanted a little bit more space here. So we'll see. But I think I can maybe do some layering to make this corner work. I also pulled out uh, from the ephemera pack all the pieces I thought would go with these particular colors and photos. Um, there's a great banner piece that's uh, pre-sewn. It has the scallops, the banners, the half circles. So that's kind of neat. I might be able to use that somewhere, I think. I kind of like that. And then uh, I also picked up from the Memory Nest um, these cork arrows from Fancy Pants that I think are really cool. They're really light. Um, and there's about a bazillion in the box. So definitely have room to use those. So I think I'm going to add those maybe up in this little extra space I have. That's kind of fun. And then the um, original sketch, it had the three pattern blocks going across. And then it had like a different pattern or different, yeah, different pattern here. And to me, it kind of looked like a tag. And the original had like um, the journaling strip in the middle with the two vertical photos. Since I went with the two horizontal ones instead, I just figured I'd move that journaling block down here. And so I may cut this down, or I may layer it. Um, I have a, I pulled out a couple of different journaling blocks I thought might work. Um, this one's kind of fun, and it kind of lends back to that neutral distressing or whatever that we have in the background. The cork, I think that maybe pulls some of those things together. Plus it's a fun little journaling card. This one's from Seven Gypsies. It says evidence, and there's all sorts of fun things to uh, fill in there. So that might be fun to do. I think that actually kind of works. Um, another option, this is from a really old kit, uh, Project 365, um, which is what came before Project Life. And these were journaling cards that you can fold up. So that gives you more space. Now those colors, when I pulled them out, thought they might work, but not really. So. Um, the red could work there, and I think I'm going to have the same problem with these dots that I had with the stripes. And I think that just, the hues of those colors don't really work. So, let's see. Now that gives me a little bit more room for journaling. I don't know how much journaling I really need to tell this story. Um, but that kind of works there, actually. Or I have that. This will need to come off the bottom. I think I'm going to stick with that card. 
um, because I like, there aren't a ton of pages where you can use these cards, and I think that's kind of a fun way to tell this particular story. It does call for a border across the middle. Okay, we're going to go with that. So. So there's the final layout. We started with the pier collection from Crate Paper. It's the one that had this great bright pattern in it. It had this red pattern and also this background paper that we used. And then I used a sketch from Becky Fleck at Page Maps that I thought helped break up that big pattern, let us showcase it, but without it taking over the page. I went ahead and this actually called for two vertical photos and a journaling block in between the two. So I had three photos, two of them were horizontal, so I flipped them and took up that same amount of space with just the pictures. Um, and then I again broke up this pattern and I cut these maybe a little bit bigger than I had wanted and because it's a continuous pattern I couldn't just um, cut them smaller like I maybe would other patterns, but that's okay because I went ahead and I used them and then I layered the journaling card over it. And I kind of like the way that that looks actually. Um, this white around it frames the journaling card and then I like the way it's layered on there. Um, this was a pre-done embellishment and part of the Crepe Paper Ephemera pack that you can pick up from the Memory Nest. It's pre-sewn with those banners and things all together, so that was a lot of fun. And this piece was actually a scrap that we used from another layout, so there we go. Um, and then we added those cute arrows there to point to the fun and to use up a little bit of that white space we had on the side. So, so there you go. That's another layout that we've created for the Memory Nest. Um, where you can get the crepe paper collection, the pier. And that's the second layout I've been able to create. Actually, the third layout I've created with this collection. And I will post some of those for you to see. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel. Have a great day.